Little Tiger and the Island Little Tiger was sitting on the golden beach, staring at the island across the sea. I wish I could swim, he thought. Then I could go to the island. It looks lovely over there. He gazed at the palm trees and the mountains on the island, and stretched one of his paws towards the water, but he didn't put it in. Just then there was a splash, and little tiger's friend Turtle popped up out of the sea. Hello, said Turtle, I've been to the island, all the flowers are out and the dolphins are singing. Oh, said little tiger, I wish I could go. Of course you can go, said Turtle, let's swim across now and have lunch in the secret lagoon. Little Tiger looked up at the great big sea, then down at his small paws. I don't think so, Turtle, he said. I think I'm a tiger who can't swim. OK, said Turtle, we won't swim, but let's just have a dip in the water. That can't hurt, can it? Little Tiger looked at Turtle. You're not trying to trick me, are you? he said. No, no, said Turtle. We won't swim, I promise. So Little Tiger stepped slowly into the water. Now, said Turtle, I'll tell you what's fun. Waving your feet up and down like this. And so Little Tiger tried it. Yes, I quite like waving my paws, he said, if only swimming was this simple. Never mind, said Turtle, let's keep doing it. And so Little Tiger kept waving his paws. And as he waved them, he noticed something. The island seems to be coming closer, he said. Oh yes, said Turtle. It's probably swimming. The island likes to swim sometimes. Just keep waving your feet. And so Little Tiger did. And the island came closer and closer and closer. Until, all of a sudden, Little Tiger could feel the warm sand under his paws. How incredible, he said. I'm so happy the island decided to swim. Now you can show me the secret lagoon and we can go and play with the dolphins. Turtle gave Little Tiger a smile. Islands can't swim, he said. Look behind you. And when Little Tiger looked around, he stopped and stared. The great blue sea was stretching out behind him. Far away in the distance, he could see the golden beach where he and Turtle had been sitting just a little while ago. I don't understand, he said. We swam to the island, smiled Turtle. You're a good little swimmer. For a moment, Little Tiger didn't know what to say. Then he thought about being cross with Turtle for tricking him. But he was so glad about being able to swim that he decided to be happy after all. I can swim, he shouted, and he went for another little dip to celebrate. I told you you could do it, laughed Turtle. Now come and meet the eagles and the elephants. And so they ran off into the palm trees and spent all day having adventures on the island. When the evening came and the sun was setting, Little Tiger was tired. I think I'm a bit too sleepy for more swimming, he said. That's okay, said Turtle. Just curl up on my back. And Little Tiger fell fast asleep as Turtle carried him all the way home.